so our lesson this week is going to be about abstract sculptures. And so I have attached a slideshow onto the Google Classroom with some examples of um, important abstract sculpture artists. So you can look at those for some inspiration. But then I'm going to show you how you can create a sculpture using just a plain sheet of paper or a cut up box. So a cereal box would work really well, Triscuit box, something that's this thinner cardboard that would be easy to cut with scissors. Otherwise, all you need are scissors and I'm gonna show you how you do that. So I'm gonna start with this Triscuit box and I'm just gonna flatten it out and you might need to ask a parent to help you with getting this started just so you don't hurt yourself. But I've flattened out my box like that, okay? And now I wanna think about different shapes. So I'm actually gonna make two different sculptures so I can show you how it works with both. Um, my Triscuit box sculpture, I'm gonna actually have be organic shapes. So if you remember, organic shapes are shapes that are, they're not a shape that you would learn about in math. They're inspired by nature. They're usually kind of free form. They're organic. They're just, they're, own, they're doing their own thing. So I'm just going to free cut my organic shapes out, but you could absolutely grab a pencil or a marker and plan out your shapes. But I'm just, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna cut out some organic shapes. And I'm gonna think about every shape that I'm cutting out is, is similar to a building block. I'm essentially making my own blocks, even though they're flat. They can still be used as boxes. And so I'm just kind of thinking of it like drawing with my scissors and cutting out And this box is so easy to cut with these scissors. If you're trying to use like a delivery box or something, it might be a little bit tricky um, just because those tend to be thicker and you might need stronger scissors or something. So I'm just kind of going fully abstract. Abstract means that it's a picture that doesn't represent anything. It's more, the point of the picture is its shape and the lines and if color matters, things like that. So you can see here some examples of my organic shapes. I've got just, they're kind of wiggly and different. You can see here, these different things going on. So I have that. All right, I have gotten, I think, as many shapes as I can get out of that. Maybe I can take some of these box flaps and add some small shapes later. But I'm gonna keep these in a pile of my organic shapes. And then from the paper, I'm gonna use some geometric shapes. So a geometric shape is a shape that you would learn about in math. So think circle, square, triangle, rectangle, oval, diamond, rhombus, trapezoid, parallelogram, things like that. They have a name, usually. And I'm going to just cut some shapes out of this. This is your art, so you can even be creative about the types of shapes that you use. Maybe you use a combination of organic and geometric shapes. Um, maybe you have something that inspires you with the types of shapes that you're doing. You're just cutting out lots of different shapes. So I have my geometric shapes out of paper and I have my organic shapes out of the box. So depending on what kind of material you used, you have that. The next step is going to be is you're going to cut little notches into your shapes. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because what you're going to be doing is building 
your shapes. So you can see here, what you're gonna do is you don't need glue or anything to make your sculpture. You just need to cut notches into your shapes and then you'll be able to start to build it. that was the paper one. Some things that I learned along the way. One, it you have to be so gentle and it can be a little bit frustrating. If you find yourself getting too frustrated, just walk away for a little while and come back to it later. Um, two, the I really should have built it on something that can move because right now I just have it on the carpet. One, the carpet makes it not as stable. And two, um, now I can't move it. Because once I pick this up, it's going to fall apart. Like, well, some of it stayed together, but it's not particularly stable. Um, remember that I would love for you to send me pictures of what you make, but this also, the point of this week is I want you to experiment with abstract sculpture. So if it's not going perfectly, it's really okay. So I'm going to now do my um, organic shape one using the, the cracker box. Um, with these organic shapes, I think it's going to go a lot better, um, because the paper is a little bit stronger because it's cardboard. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, guys, so the Triscuit box sculpture is definitely more stable than the regular paper sculpture, but it also was harder because the organic shapes are a little bit harder to piece together in a way that it stands. So your goals for this lesson are, one, just try it. Try making an abstract sculpture. Try, um, just try your best. Two, see if you can get something put together that stands still on its own. That's it. See if you can get the um, the physics of it right to where it stands. It just stands. It's it's stable. Okay. Um, and then finally, use geometric or organic shapes. Basically, just use shapes. So pretty simple goals this week. I just want you guys to be building something and getting off of the computer for a minute and making something with your hands. So um, if you make something that looks cool, snap a picture, send it to me. Um, show me that you tried it. Um, so snap a picture or send me a comment about what the process was like. If you can't figure out how to upload a picture, email a picture to me. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. And I hope you guys have a really good second week of e-learning. Um, I miss you guys a lot and, um, I've been really proud of all the artwork that you guys have sent me. Keep them coming. Um, yeah. Bye guys. Be nice to your families.